What is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a watermark in the corner of your videos like you see in a lot of YouTube videos because YouTube doesn't exactly make it super easy or obvious in how to do this properly, so today I'm going to be showing you the easiest option and let's get started. So if you're like me, you've probably struggled in trying to create this watermark that you see in a lot of other YouTube videos. And this is because YouTube is quite nitpicky on what they want the actual file to be like that you import into the watermark. And it gives some instructions, but it's not exactly super clear if you've never done stuff like this before. So I'm going to be showing you the simplest way that I figured out how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into a web browser. And I'm using a web browser photo editor because it's free and not everyone has Photoshop or something like that. So for this example, I'm going to be using Pixlr, which is a free photo editor online. Online. So once you have their website open, which is just pixlr.com, what you're going to do is come down and use the advanced Pixlr E button. It's not really advanced, so just click that to open it up. So once you're into that, you're going to go over to the left here under create new and you're going to click on that. And once you have that here, what you're going to do is go over to the right here, name your project whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it untitled. And once you've named your project whatever you want, what you're going to do is go into the width and height and set them both to 150. And it's a really small photo size but it's the size that YouTube wants for this watermark. And then once you have this in here, below you're gonna wanna leave the background unchecked because you need to have a transparent background so if you don't turn it on, it ends up being transparent. So once that's here, just click create. So once it opens, you just have a really small panel here, 150 by 150 pixels, it has a transparent background so we're ready to get started. Now the thing about the watermark is it's going to be really small in your videos and you want it to pop out. So what I've found works best by looking at my own videos as well as other people's videos is that because the area is so small you want to have large text that is relatively bold in this area to really show your brand and show the watermark and make sure people click on it. So the next thing you're going to do is go over to the settings in here and click on the T which is for text and then you're going to click on your project here and it's going to ask if you want to add a text layer into that you're going to say yes add a text layer and it's going to come up with the sample text but you can just replace it with whatever you want so i think for this i'm just going to do my channel name which is tava and you can do whatever you want here but the less text you have the probably better so the bigger can be and the more people can actually see it so now i'm just going to move the parameters around to make sure it fits completely within this window and then shrink the font size down to make sure the text again fits within this area. So this is basically the main gist. Once you have this, you can go up to the font area and change it to whatever you want. And if they don't have the font you're looking for, something really cool they have is adding a local font. So if you go to the bottom here, you can actually click this and add a font that's on your computer that you like better. So for example, I really like this DDT bold font that really emphasizes the look that I'm going for. So if I just click that and click open, you can see that it opens it up into the browser and I can actually use this font that's on my computer in this web browser, so that's super cool. So once I have my text and logo centered in the middle of this project, what I'm gonna do is basically just make sure that my color is white. I found that that works best and pops out the most. Again, you can choose whatever color you want, but just from personal experience, I found that that works the best. But now that I have this, I'm basically done. All I have to do is export the photo, which I do by going up to file, save, and I can save it as whatever I want. You just have to make sure that the file type is a PNG, which has a transparent background, and make sure that the image width and height are both still at 150. So once you have this, all you do is download the file, and now you can open it up. So once I open up the file, you can see it has a completely transparent background and just has the text like I saved it. So now we need to go to YouTube. So from the YouTube homepage, what we're gonna do is go over to the top right here and click on our profile. And then we're gonna scroll down until you see YouTube Studio and we're gonna click on that. And when YouTube Studio opens up, you're gonna go to the left here under the settings, scroll down until you actually see the settings button and then click on that. And then from settings, you're gonna go to channel and then from channel, you're gonna go to branding. And then from branding, you have the option to add that video watermark, which is kind of hidden in these settings. As you can see, it's a little bit difficult to find. But now what you can do is basically either remove, replace, or add a new watermark to your video so just for this example I'm going to replace the one that I have find the file that I saved to my computer so as you can see I saved it as untitled.png you can see it's the file here that I chose if I click open it's going to replace it and save it inside of my videos and then you have the option to display the watermark whether you want it at the end of the video custom start time or the entire video which is where I have it set at so all you have to do now is click save and if you go to any of your videos you're going to find that watermark in the bottom right corner exactly how you want it super easily using this program. But anyway, that's basically it. At first it sounds a bit complicated and confusing, but if you actually break it down, it's quite a simple process and not that hard to do and can add some cool watermarks to all of your videos that enhance branding and make it easier for an audience to interact with your content. So that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.